people wonder what our secret to success is. In this video, we share all of it. Welcome back to the RV Odd Couple. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes. Long story short, we sold most of our possessions in pursuit of freedom, independence, and adventure. Because life is so short, guys. It is. And in this video, we're going to share our secrets that we get asked about all the time. So in this video, we're going to talk about five things that we do on a daily basis that we don't hear anybody else talk about in the RV space, right? You'll see lots of videos on how to buy an RV and how to get the right truck and how to organize it and how to make a budget and where to camp and campground reviews. But nobody, nobody ever really talks about the five things that we believe help us to be successful in everything that we do, whether it's are being full time and finding freedom, independence, and adventure, or starting a YouTube channel that takes off. In today's video, we're gonna share with you the five things that we do that make all the difference in the world. And the last one is the one that is probably the most powerful. Any situation, any problem, this it always one, works. It always works. Number one, Failure to plan is a plan to fail. Begin with the end in mind. Right, you got to have a plan. And what we like to do is reverse engineer everything. And I feel like people, sometimes they set these goals and it's great to have goals, but they don't really have a plan to achieve those goals. And you know, this is a plan about being honest with yourself. Like, is your goal something that's true to you, really what you want? And more importantly, be honest with yourself about where you're really at right now. Like, what is it going to take to go from here to there exactly and and you know we just we, we receive hundreds of emails every single day recently we received an email from a disabled couple who watched some YouTube videos on RVing sold everything they owned and they jumped in with a little bit of savings they've only been doing it for three months now and they're out of money and they don't know what to do this is a really, really bad idea. We worked for years to get to this place where we could afford to go find our freedom, independence, and adventure. So for example, for us, our plan was to live a nomadic lifestyle and to be able to afford to do that and to be able to travel whenever we wanted, wherever we wanted. So we had to take an honest inventory of our life, what we had, what we didn't have. And the part that's really hard, but I'm just gonna say it, is that to be the person you want to be, you have to shed part of who you are now. Exactly. And you always will start where you are. Do an honest appraisal of where you are in your life. You definitely need to set up a budget. We had a year in the bank when we started this lifestyle and you know we had a plan to monetize it through doing these YouTube videos. It's worked for us, but it doesn't work for everybody. So before you jump in with both feet into the nomadic lifestyle because you want to chase freedom, independence, and adventure, don't set yourself up by jumping in and not having the money or the resources. The second thing that we want to point out to everybody is, is that what you focus on grows. And boy, isn't this the truth. Recently, we were a little bit focused on the negative things that were going on to us. We were a little bit too concerned of what other people thought. When we were focusing too much on that one negative comment that was just getting underneath our skin, one of the things that really helped us was to remember that other people's opinions of ourselves is a none, none of, our, of our, business. our business. And the other piece is letting it go. And don't let things go for them, let it go for yourself because life is too short. And, and the reality is that the little things, they really are little in the grand scheme of things. How important is it really? Again, how important is it really? Will I care about this in a year? So really focusing on that perspective has helped us tremendously. The third thing that's helped us is to master the mini routines and really celebrate the mini wins. And here's an example, like waking up at an early time in the morning, especially with this nomadic lifestyle and being self-employed, it's very easy to just go willy nilly and have no plan. But no, those mini routines and mastering little things like just having a healthy breakfast, just waking up a little bit early, those things make such a difference because if you don't have discipline, you have nothing. Exactly, and so we really struggled with this piece of it when we left the sticks and bricks and started out RVing full time. We've shared with you guys, Mercedes is going crazy that we haven't <laughs> been able to get a routine. 
true. But the way you eat an elephant is one bite at a time. So what we've started to do is we've started to get on a routine. It's so important to start your day out, out on the right foot and a routine is gonna help you do this. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's acceptable to say, well, because I'm nomadic, it means I don't have routines. No, we have routines and make it a priority. And the more that we conquer ourselves and master ourselves and really focus on what we want and do that hard work, the better we feel. What do they say? If you um, do the easy stuff, you'll have a hard life. Mm. If you do the hard stuff, you'll have an easy life. It's so true. And if not now, when? And remember in the game of life, guys, the competition isn't against me and you. The mm -hmm. competition is against myself. If I win that battle, then life's a piece of cake. So the next one we're gonna talk about is gratitude and perspective, mainly my attitude. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's so strange because we can have a great day together and yeah. then suddenly we'll wake up and both of us wake up on the wrong side of the bed, right? After Our, a great day. After a great day. There's no rhyme or reason to why that happens, but mm -hmm. this is where we're in the most danger, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Is when we both wake up on the wrong <laughs> side of the bed, man, those mornings are a little bit tough. And then what we do is we pause. Yeah. We give each other room, right? <laughs> we know that it's my responsibility to take care of me and get myself straightened out. And Mercedes' responsibility <laughs> to get Mercedes straightened out. And as the morning progresses, we slowly mm -hmm. go back together give each other a kiss and say okay we're back on board again <laughs> nothing is better than having a grateful heart there is always somebody else that has more challenges than you have there is always somebody less fortunate than you are so be grateful for the good things right when I get down and depressed and that's one of the things that we've noticed about RVing is mm -hmm. the highs are really high and the lows can be really low yeah but one of the things that helps us to get out of those moments mm -hmm. is just counting the blessings right mm -hmm. what are we grateful for yeah so in the them. morning list them out right in the morning what am i grateful for i'm grateful for my family i'm grateful for my health i'm grateful for having the greatest wife on the planet right <laughs> i'm grateful for my rv life and then i get freedom independence and adventure i can travel wherever i want to go if i'm awake if i woke up this morning I'm already winning right. and just remembering that is so important. Right. To wake up and suck air at my age is a gift. Life is a gift. What are you going to do with it? Right? So there's no better way than to start your day out with having a list of what you're grateful for. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank mm -hmm. you, God, for my life. Thank mm -hmm. you, God, for my family. Thank you, God, for our health. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all of it. And then when it's time to go to sleep, I thank God for all the things that I'm grateful for, yeah. right? For letting me get through the day. Mm -hmm. And so having a gratitude list in the morning and at night, even mm -hmm. during the day, will definitely help to straighten out your attitude. Oh, yeah. Now, the next thing is by far the most powerful thing, the most life-changing thing that we do differently that any problem it will solve. Any challenge, it will bring light to it. Any difficulty, it will help you. The one thing that will always get you out of a low point or depression is going and helping someone else, especially those who are less fortunate than you are. Go to a soup kitchen, right? Go down and help the homeless. Go and bring a gift to somebody. When I start feeling sorry for myself, I ask God to put the right people in my life that I might be able to help. And this is the main reason for our success on our channel this year. We started out to help as many people as we possibly can. And now we're helping people grow their YouTube channel. Nothing will pull you out of a hole and out of depression faster than helping another person. It's probably the most powerful thing you can do. And it's also an action and it doesn't cost money. I mean, what it costs is the most valuable thing you have, which time. is time. You know, so taking that time to talk to somebody and it's not necessarily fixing their problems, you know, just connecting with people, talking to people, being sincere, seeing where you can help and, and not focusing on yourself, but focusing on other people is probably one of the things that brings us so much joy. We just had to share it with you because it's changed our lives so much. It's the funniest thing, right? Because when you're down or you're feeling sorry for yourself or you're having a bad day, you know, Mercedes will remind me or one of my friends will remind me go help somebody that's less fortunate and the craziest thing is it's always seems to be a pain in the butt to do it right oh, yeah. what good's that gonna do you it's know what i mean i would prefer to sit here and feel sorry for myself and, think about me. and count the, <laughs> the things that are wrong with my life instead of the things that are right with my life right it's always a pain in the butt to go help some it, it just seems that way yeah. but it always works it always lifts you up out of yourself and it gets you back to that place of being grateful for everything that you have our goal in sharing this with you is that we hope 
hope that we've inspired you to just pick up one thing. And if you can only remember one thing, remember this, helping others. So as we approach Thanksgiving and Christmas, we wanna wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. This is the time of year of giving. One of the things that has always helped us in whatever we do is always give more than you take. One of the things we're super grateful for is the RV Odd Squad. So thank you for coming on this crazy adventure with us. We don't know what it would be like without you guys. <laughs>